Okay. Um, first of all, as you know, protest structure uh, supports uh, international design codes, concrete design codes, steel design codes, um, composite loading codes, wind codes, and earthquake codes in a detailed manner. So you can select uh, among uh, a large list of uh, combination um, codes, pre design codes, and seismic codes here. Uh, and also, Proto structure supports a template system. So uh, when you start your project, you can start with a country template, uh, for example, Macedonia template, uh, or uh, Colombia, Malaysia, Peru. And all these templates, in fact, collects all the settings and all the uh, best practices uh, that, that, that is required for that area. So you don't have to do, you don't have to deal with any detailed settings in order to kickstart your project. Of course, you can customize and you can also save your favorite settings as a new template, but these are provided out of the box for you. Okay, first of all, we focused on the reinforced concrete column and wall design, including the seismic clauses. Uh, in fact, we are excited to introduce the improvements here. Uh, Protest Structure 2025 is more capable now in terms of supporting the seismic design provisions uh, such as uh, ACI 318, especially with a focus on Chapter 18. Uh, and the codes similar to US codes, which are Colombia, Peru, Dominican Republic, uh, Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand. These are also covered in terms of column and wall design. Uh, India, is also covered uh, in the new version uh, or advanced seismic analysis and design technology uh, ensures the compliance with these demanding codes and regulations uh, with automatic checks for irregularities for example it's not only about the member design but it is also about the global building checks like irregularities the relative drifts and capacity checks so and that's not all of course we will uh, include all these calculations in a detailed step-by-step -step report for transparency and confidence. And similar to the columns and shear walls, beams also follow seismic capacity design principles according to these codes. Uh, to repeat again, we support ACI 318, especially chapter 18, uh, Colombia, Peru, Dominican Republic, Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand. India is different than US codes, but we also cover it in the new version. Uh, again, in addition to the member checks, seismic checks and non-seismic checks, we provide detailed reports on strong column, weak beam checks, and joint shear checks to ensure ductility in a specific joint. And these new additions, of course, and improvements uh, are sitting on top of the existing global building checks, as I mentioned, such as irregularity checks, relative drift checks, and non-structural member checks, etc. So a protest structure is much more complete in the sense of non-seismic and seismic design checks in this new version. Another important improvement in the new version uh, is the use of tension shift in shear walls, according to Eurocode 8. Uh, Protest structure will now automatically calculate the tension shift and apply the moment and shear force envelopes according to the procedure outlined in Eurocode 8 5424. Seismic codes usually allow the relative drift checks to ignore minimum base shear and maximum period limitations in the equivalent static load approach. Um, this is in fact based on observations in the past earthquakes and on the fact that tall buildings are more drift controlled rather than uh, force control. So when a response spectrum analysis is performed, the forces and displacements are magnified with different scale factors. Protostructure will now more elaborately 
consider the seismic code clauses that outlines the scaling and limitation of drifts. For example, in India and Peru codes, displacements are not to be scaled when RSA is performed. On the other hand, uh, AC07 requires uh, scaling of displacement with a different factor, ignoring minimum base shear and limiting periods. And these are all reported and supported in protostructure 2025, and details are presented in a neat report. Another important undertaking was, for us was to implement the seismic checks of steel members according to AAC 341 and Turkish codes. That means Bureau code is not fully supported yet and it is work in progress. That should be underlined at the beginning. So what's done? First of all, seismic provisions limit us in usage of steel profiles for special moment frames a compact sections must be used in design. A protostructure will now check this and fail the design if the requirement is not met uh, by the seismic code. In addition to this, in eccentrically braced frames, seismic link checks must be performed, and these are also now in the software. Other than that, the seismic requirements scattered around the code are collected and checked. Results are reported with their associated clauses in the detailed report. Um, shear wall end zones, or in other words, boundary elements, are essential in maintaining a ductile behavior, especially in critical plastic regions of shear walls. Each seismic code has different regulations and calculation and curtailment of end zones. For example, ACI and Eurocode follow a strain-based approach in the end zone length calculation, while Turkish code requires a minimum ratio of the wall length. Also, for some codes, end zones may not be necessary outside the critical height, while a reduced end zone length is used in other codes. So, code requirements really differ uh, with each other. Protest structure supported shear wall and core wall end zones for a long time but in the new version it is just improved more we now allow you to set the critical heights end zone usage and end zone length easily in a batch mode editor 